Hi everybody, my name is Tom Nevy. I am the founder and executive director of Reaching Out Community Services, which is a anti-hunger organization slash social services. I'm providing uh, our services to thousands of families within the Brooklyn community that we have worked with. Um, obviously, throughout the COVID, we had to uh, navigate different changes to meet up to the demand of the people that are going through hardship, especially with food insecurity. Um, we still operate outdoors, um, and we made it much more simplified so now people don't have to wait blocks long. Things are done expeditiously, and more or less we bring the food out to them here. And I'm just going to give you a quick view of what, what happens inside. So, we also keep a bulletin of all the different activities that are happening in the community that people can have access to so that they can... Um, um, meet some certain needs that we have, so we come this way here. Um, I mean, for the last 30 years, you know, we have operated differently in the last 10 years. Everything was done digitally, so people would come to their computer and they would choose their foods based on their dietary needs, but unfortunately this all had to come to an end because we had to operate outdoors. We want to make sure that we kept this place safe, um, so we will continue to do what we're doing, and uh, we have basically kept everything safe with uh, all types of PPEs, um, filtering systems, everything that's possible. So um, this is more or less where the food program is. We had to make a lot of changes too. This is more or less where the food is being um, put into carts as we bring it out to the people. Um, most of our stock is, is in the lower part of the building downstairs. So, um, and we have everything here from fresh meat to vegetables, fruit, uh, and all kinds of other staple items, dairy. Um, we get s several trucks a week, so we've been really operating, uh, what can I say, we're lighting the candle on both sides. We have always dealt with many volunteers, but because of the space and size and the properness of keeping everything on a social distance, we weren't able to put a lot of people here, so we had to take the staff that we have and kind of work a little harder but get the job done so to speak um, more or less that's basically what happens here everything is done um, in its chronological order in the sense of how we're going to uh, provide the people with the food that's that we do have um, let me just bring you quickly downstairs things are a little more changing this organization but more or less this is the stock area that when we get the food we bring it down and then we constantly stock up the food court upstairs as we uh, as we need it so and uh, our freezer is so on um, which we when we get our frozen meats and so on so more or less that's what's basically happening so everything is done with an ID card so when people do come we scan the system outside it quickly comes into this area here and we get their their, um, their list of food and then we bring it out to them so everybody is accounted for when they do register Everybody's registered here, so again, you know, we are processing everything um, in the point where, you know, it's practical. Um, let me just bring you upstairs really quick, nutritional classes and so on. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. Um, we have a food stance pause room, so in there, the social services, the, um, this is where we're providing it, help for our, our clients. Um, helping them with special um, benefits that are available. Um, we do the food stamps here. Um, and up here we do free tax preparation, which we have been doing for the last several months. Uh, so we've been able to continue with that as well. We normally don't use the waiting rooms, whatever, because we're afraid to, you know, to keep people distant. So uh, everything is done on the lower floor. And then we... Um, um, we have it completed with the food bank for New York City. We also do have um, a home service, so anybody who dis has disabilities, our seniors, um, we have we delivered the food to them as well. In reaching Out has thousands of families registered, almost 10,500 before the pandemic, then obviously thousands more for those who have gone through their struggles, have lost their job and so on. Food insecurity is a, a very um, challenging uh, concept for many people, but Nevertheless, we're here to bring hope and relief to those who need us, um, and we're thankful for those who support this fact to 
provide helping hands to the uh, neighbors in need. Um, administratively, we, we do what we do. Uh, that's Danielle, and Danielle helps us also providing the uh, special services that are needed to uh, accommodate the families that are going through their struggling times. My manager here, uh, Amore, he's one of, obviously, the, the soldier that we stood and made it happen throughout all these months. Um, and this, you know, he's basically dealing with the food program, as well as the tax program, as well as the uh, people that are coming for other services outside of food. So as people continue to come um, to pick up their food, we also have here um, HealthWorks. HealthWorks, we do, uh, they do free COVID testing. Um, so obviously we're here to help our community, let them know what's going on, make sure to see if they're safe to be with their family and friends. So we, they do test here periodically, um, not just in this organization, but other areas as well. So even though there's a lot more that goes on in this organization, we're able to keep the good going and we're looking forward to continuing our efforts to bring hope and relief to those who are going through their struggling times. So more or less that's basically what's been happening and we're very thankful for those who have been volunteering on the outside as well as my staff that have been um, doing a phenomenal job in the last 12 months or so. Um, so basically that's where we're at, that's what's happening, and uh, thank you very much for uh, hearing our story. You be well.